Hello guys and welcome to, well, as you can see we're in a bit of a different area again this time in this top sort of video. Um, yeah, we've got a CE update because, you know, it's been a little bit of a while uh, since the last CE update. I think it was a few months back, but I thought I'd sort of like do a bit of a update on what I've been up to and where I've gone from on here as well and show you guys what I've progressed through over the past couple of months really so nothing has really changed over here as much um purely the fact obviously i haven't got parts and pieces what we need and things like that and um, we still have the disney castle in the same location as well as the winnie the pooh and the crusaders in we've also got the um mock church if you want to call that that i built up as well now i have even included something extra in this i've actually put my own lights into this as well just to give it more um more aesthetic looks to it or whatever however you want to call it i am going to make hopefully in some point in the future i'm going to make slight change to these clear windows here i'm going to make them all stained glass if i can so all the clear one by one pieces that I'm going to need and everything else like that. So as you can see, it is fully lit up on the inside there. Um, we do have a strip light that's there on the inside on this roof and also on the other side. And then we've got some connecting cables connecting those two up. And then we've got one, two, and then three more strip lights as well. And that's all connected to this one little battery box here as well so that's one i suppose that's one little change that i've made to this itself um oh the other actually piece is that i changed these to clear pieces rather than the light blue pieces that they were just so that we could actually see what they actually look like uh or looks like when it's lit up as well i was thinking about changing these to the multicolored stained glass windows as well but the way it's set up i'd have to go a complete different build technique with that so i might just leave that as it is for now as well so that is one change that we've done here actually saying that we've still got the windmill in the same location that will be having a couple of lights in uh, in there itself um so i will sort that out that might be ready for the next update video or something like that it's just going to be a couple of strip lights and things like that we do also have the family cottage or cabin whatever you want to call it. i think it's the family cabin i'm not too sure um it's just sort of like a little um subtle lighting to this one but yet again a couple of strip lights connected to a battery box and there we are, we've got all of that in there as well. Yet again, a couple of strip lights in the roof section. So I think I think there was, uh, as you can see, yeah, you can see, there you go. So you can just about see where the lighting is there. So there's two layers of strip lights on that itself. We've got the Rapunzel Tower still in the same place. Um, that's going to be moved more in the centre of that itself. We've got the A-frame cabin again, where it is. Um, and then, I don't know whether I'm just going to change it there, I'll leave it there or change the location. I'm not too sure, but we will we will make some decisions on that. Or any guys, anyone that's in the comments, let us know what you think on any of the locations and things like that. Bearing in mind, obviously, there is going to be a river or a little stream coming through the green area and things like that anyways we do also have the tree house um now we do obviously we have had this one before now this is my second tree house that i've built um purely and solely because the first one there was pieces missing and um the lights needed changing and things like that because uh, the guys over at game of bricks kindly sent me the light and sound kit for the uh, treehouse so I will probably do most likely do a separate video for that but just to give you a bit of a hint on what there is we've got that and then we've got 
and then we have the sound there as well which you can probably just about hear and obviously that's controlled by the remote so look out for a possible video for that one as well now as i said this lot is going to be changed um it's all going to be a green area and things like that so it's all be meals plated and things like that the whole lot is going to be raised it's not all going to be flat it's going to be hills and if i can obviously do it in this limited space that i've got here so the tower may be a little bit higher so it's going to come up to about here somewhere or something like that i'm not too sure but it's obviously one of those fairy tale sections that we've got here going uh, we're going to have a stream coming around it's going to connect the all three buildings up that's got the river so we've got the family cottage or family cabin the tree house and also the windmill that's got a little bit of the stream there as well so i've got to think where it's going to start how it's all going to connect up and things like that so you know this the, the windmill might be up on a hill as well i'm not too sure i've got to work this one out and figure out how i can actually implement everything to what it is um so yeah and then obviously you've got work around the other buildings as well now moving on we do have the canals i'm not too sure where they're going to keep the canals actually saying that because of the way the stream is going to uh, going to be but we'll sort that one out we do still have the four sections of the canals that i'd actually uh done via rebrickable models unfortunately some of them have actually fallen apart like obviously this one the fountain here it's fallen apart um and then there's some other ones where it's supposed to have a tree here and things like that but that is what we've got now moving on to the next section is the city section now what we've actually done is last time you uh, you saw this all the buildings were across just sort of like in a u shape here type thing but what we have done now is we've added another section that we've got here so we've got another table just here uh only a small table i think it's about a meter and a half long something like that but we've actually gained more uh area which we can actually produce more possible modular buildings and things like that so we've even with this one we've got the double assembly square so I've put two assembly squares or uh, two sections of it together. And yet again, that's all lit up as well uh, with a standard light kit from Game Bricks and also some extra light accessories as well. Um, but all these modular buildings are now mills plated. So that means that we do have these raised up by an extra plate and brick as well. So it, state, it starts off as a, a standard base plate. Um, and then you can do two by two bricks and then four by four plates as well. That is pretty much the cheaper option or cheaper way to go about this. You can do it with 16 by 16 plates as well, but because the 16 by 16 plates are uh, cost more, they're more cost effective on that way. So that's what we've done on that. We've also done mills plates roads. So this is on a standard road pl base plate as well load of 1x16 and 1x8 bricks with 1x4 plates as well a lot of um, stud knot on top bricks as well um, they're on some 32x32s and then we've got a 16x32 base plate as well all on that itself now unfortunately there has been a bit of slight problem um, it might be the fact that the way the tables have been moved and things like that but we do have this this little gap but we do also have a slight slant on this base plate or this this road plate here so I've got to go and put something underneath this table here at the corner over there because it's slanting this building slightly when it's all connected up to other stuff so yeah it's going to be interesting um let's see what we can do but it's it's part of the fun I guess so as I said we have mills plated everything in this section apart from these base plates here so we've got room i'll move that one out of the way because we don't need that we do have room for another um 32 by 48 modular building as well or even a 16 by 32 and a 32 by 32 by, uh, modular building we will see what we can do 
with that section as well. We are the same here with this base plate here. So we've got that area and then we've also got the a 16 by 6, uh, 32 and another 16 by 32 there as well. So if I do cover this section up here with a modular building, I'm not too sure on what I'm going to do with this area. So I've got to try and think on what I can do um, on that aspect of things. So we will see and work out. Now over here is obviously the other boutique hotel stuff that we've made. This is the newer mock that I built. But down here we do have a little car park. So I might have to move the pet shop just to get to the car park. And might move the pet shop, say, over here or over here. I'm not too sure. But with a road, it is now a full cross section. So it's, you come in along that way and then also along that way. We do need to finish this one here because we've got some 1x4 plates that need to be put in. We've got some vehicles that are on the roads at the moment. So we've got the uh, Lady Penelope's Fab 1. We've got the Fast and Furious Skyline. We've got an ambulance, fire engine, or two ambulances, sorry. We've got the ambulance there, an ambulance there. We've got a camper fan. Um, we've got a, some other bits there as well. So, yeah, and we also got the Ecto-1 that is just there as well. So that is pretty much what we've done so far on the top level or top section of the city itself. Um, so that is all of that, as you can see. Now, no progress has been underneath done underneath in the water section, but we do have a big shark now. So he was built on live stream. So obviously, if you guys haven't seen it already, go check on the uh, channel, go to the live section, and you will see the mock build of the shark. This is a pretty good build, actually. I really, really enjoyed this one. So I've got to sort all this lot out, clear this uh, section up. We've still got tubs from where I've made up some um, art pieces and things like that. Um, obviously, there's art that you can hang on the wall and things like that. We've got uh, that is the first original treehouse. So as I said, there is things that has broken up and things like that. There's going to be uh, spare parts, parts that we need, and obviously for anything else, basically. Um, there is a big box underneath, which has all got all the vehicles underneath there as well. We've got the tra the old train station when we had the original railway uh, in the city. Um, from those who had seen the very first city update from where it used to be. We do have these rock pieces here. Uh, these are obviously to split the two sections up from the Halloween and then also the underwater scene as well. So that's going to go, hopefully, going to go all the way round and then at the back there and then possibly come up somewhere a little bit higher so it does cover the full section of the underwater area as well so that is obviously no progress so far under there apart from we've got a bag full of one by two uh dark trans blue parts and also a bag these were sent to me via uh through we brick as a, a, a as a thank you gift these are one by two clips uh Horizontal clips, I think they are actually. So I'm trying to think what I can do with them. Possibly put them in the green area for the flowers and whatever else as well. So we'll we'll come to that when it comes uh, when we get to that section, of course. Now the last section, obviously we've got the Halloween area. And first things first, you are granted with a new set that we've actually built. Uh, this is what I bought for my other half. She was very happy uh, it, uh she bought it last week and it's the new lego nightmare before christmas set um what can i say it's iconic enjoyable and things like that you, it is all modular where you got all the other sections come off so like of all, all of that i might do a review video on that as well so obviously if she'll let me do that and obviously if you guys would like to see that let me know in the comments as well we do have the halloween witch's house so that's got to be mod uh, sort of like took apart or something like that to put into a certain section because of the amount of space that we have in this at the back we do have the side assistant 
Sanderson Sisters House from Hocus Pocus. That is all that. And obviously we've got the lit up and things like that as well. And then at the back, we do have the Haunted Mansion or Haunted House, I think it's called. Uh, yeah, again, another build that we built on live stream. So if you want to go and check that out, go and have a look in the live section. And uh, yeah, we do have the Scooby-Doo Mystery Machine. So as we know, this is from Scooby-Doo itself. This is what this is an actual authorised full set. Uh, the designer had actually took the original Scooby-Doo set and created it into their own type of thing as well. There's a lot of fun details into that as well. So yeah, that is all of the Halloween stuff that is there at the moment. So that, without anything really, that's the full lot of the Lego City update that we've been doing and working on. So as again, as always, I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing what we've built up and... Uh, yeah, it's good fun. If you're new to the channel, obviously drop. Remember to hit the subscribe button as well, uh, and also drop a thumbs up. Click the bell to let you know that we're notified when we go live or when we do any random updates, whether it's a city update, review video, or any other builds that I do over on my channel as well. So yeah, this is what can I say? It's it gained a little bit more progress, and hope you guys have enjoyed so until then thank you very much for watching and hope to catch you on the next video so until then bye bye